Hello everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we have episode number uh, 21. 21 of the knitting quarantine knitting podcast. Yes, episode 21 of the Arne and Carlos quarantine knitting podcast will be the last episode that we do uh, on a weekly basis where we do it on weekdays every weekday. Uh, after this episode, we are going on a break until I am recovered 100%. And then when we come back, we hope to call the Quarantine Knitting Podcast something else. And we have been asking for suggestions for a couple of days. So if you have any... Oh, yeah. Well, but we're not going to reveal the okay. new name until we come back. <laughs> so, uh, we were thinking of call calling it a whole bunch of boring things. So if you have an idea for a new name for our continued podcast, uh, put it down in the comment field below, uh, and we will consider it, and then once we're back, we will reveal it. Now, Arne, yeah. um, let's do a little recap of why we started the, this podcast mm -hmm. in the first place, because we do have our regular uh, video, weekly video, that, that we post every Sunday, yeah. and, then, um, and then there's a story of what happened and why we now are doing this every day. So, yeah. So the reason is that we had to go into quarantine and it started with two weeks. Yeah, on March 14th we went into quarantine yeah. and because then, of the virus. Then I started to cough and then we decided to stay one more week in case I had the virus. And then during that week you became sick. No, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had to stay two more weeks in quarantine. So we've been one month. Yeah, but we haven't been doing the podcast all the time. No, only, no. because you got so yeah. sick, so we had to stop it. For so anyway, I, I, I was I was more after the reason why we decided to do this, not what happened. <laughs> so it was a leading question? No, I just wanted <laughs> and you, you didn't to... get me anywhere. In or... <laughs> case people accuse me of talking too much, I wanted, no, to, but... I wanted to have you tell the story, but you and, only told yeah. the... But if I remember correctly, then we decided to do a knit long because, first of all, I was thinking like we had to clean the studio because now we're staying at home for many weeks. So and then we, we started to think to of other it. people, right? And then we were thinking like other people might want to have something to do. And, you know, then we could join each other mm. and we could knit the same thing. So we did yeah. the patches. We kind of realized that this time is all about connection, connecting to each other and uh, trying to feel less alone so we could we, be alone together alone together as we <laughs> as we showed you yesterday in the patch we did the we wrote that you know people you may be isolated but you're not alone and so the the, the knit along was devised to do something collectively so that we could pass time and so we could seek support from other people mm -hmm. and at the same time so that we could support other people in their loneliness by uh, coming in every day and entertaining and then launching all these patches and clues. That was the idea. Uh, we were able to do this for two weeks, non-stop. Uh, and then we started on the third week when I got sick. Mm -hmm. Then we were away for a long time. I think we were away for two weeks and then we came back. And today is kind of the last episode of what we had planned to do before we were sick. So we planned on doing uh, four weeks of episodes, a total of... 20 mm -hmm. and now we've done 20 plus this final episode which is number 21 mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. kind of the background it's all about connection it's all about uh keeping you company and it's all about you keeping us company um yeah mm -hmm. and now we're going to go on the break because i need to recuperate from post viral syndrome which i'm suffering from since I got the virus. I think you need to just lay down and relax yeah. and don't lay down, think about anything. Then I can books. do my thing. Yeah, but I do a lot of thinking when I lay down. I That's can't help that. But so anyway. I still have to cook. Yeah, I have to cook for you <laughs> and for me if we're going to survive. Or we have to go and get takeaway. Yeah. So, so anyway, anyway, that's the, uh, that's the story. And we are, um, you know, we've been very happy doing this podcast but it is time consuming and when i'm sick it doesn't really work uh so and then coming back i'm thinking that twice a week or even once a week to do a podcast like this dogma style where we just talk about whatever and then keep doing our regular episodes 
on Sunday. So instead of doing once a week, when we come back, we'll be doing twice a week or three times a week or something. Or maybe. We don't know. We'll see. You have to sleep on it's it. All in a, <laughs> it's all in a work in progress yeah. and we'll see what we come up to. But we remember, will... Carl, since we pull out UFOs every day, yeah. we can't do that for no. forever. Maybe we can. We have a lot of UFOs, but... So, um, we have a few things to talk about, our past 28 hours, or 24 hours, <laughs> as well as what the happened? UFOs. Which one do you want to start with? Since you were stuck talking about UFOs, do you want to start Should with that? Should we show the UFOs first? Yeah, we have yeah, a few. I was I tried to clean one of our houses, and I opened the box, and I found a new UFO. Oh. This one. This is a Swatch. And a, a UFO. One. <laughs> this is the preparatory work for the Schachenmayer um, collection we did in 2017, I think. Yeah, I was just testing different patterns, and then on on this side, I tried started with duplicate stitches, to, so, but but it stopped. I don't know what happened, but it came out um, like like this was the result in the end for yeah. sure for Schachenmayer. Just put it. But, should I do it? Yeah. Try to put it. So that's the sweater. There's the sweater. That's the final result. That was the final result, and this was testing patterns and swatching. Oh, I like this little. But this was another yarn. Now this is. I like to collect uh, pictures and yeah. drawings from every collection, and then Look I make these books. You there? I'm there. The models yeah. are there. And this one has pictures from the photo shoot. It also has. Um, all the line sheets that see this is like the diagrams mm. and then there's that like we the... make and 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 I like to have this let me show you because this is this is like this is what Carlos is doing he's doing all these line sheets with all the information mm. so I, I like to keep them and have it as a souvenir yeah and then we've got Sometimes things don't go the way it's planned. So uh, a beautiful, beautiful sweater that didn't happen is this one here. It was photographed, but Scheinmeyer never... Oops, this I'm way. struggling. <laughs> it was photographed, but Scheinmeyer never released it, unfortunately. Um, so it was never done. But yeah, I like to have all the drawings and the pictures from each collection or each project in these books mm. because I don't like to look for things in my computer. Yeah. So actually, if I have it in the book, it's quicker to make some... If you want to make use something over again, it's easier to look who's make there. it again. Yeah. So anyway, a great UFO. It would make a great something. So uh, I, 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 you know, do you want me to finish it for you? You can do it. Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> I don't think I will do it because now <laughs> I'm working on my embroidery. I'm working on the crochet blankets. I'm working on... Speaking of embroidery, yeah. I remember distinctly um, a few years ago, you bought a jacket. Yeah, I have it here. This is another UFO. And I have to say, this is this jacket. So, yeah. But turn it around for a minute. This jacket here was bought in a second-hand store, a thrift shop. It costs and it is nothing. It's an an Emergil Dosegna jacket. I mean, this is a... It's a good jacket. Oh, you know what? These jackets, they cost $1,000 or more when you buy them at the Zegna store. I think they are, I gave like 80 kr Yeah, about $10. $10? $10 for a, for a blazer that costs thousands of dollars if you go to a... To a high-end store, it's a very high-end brand. But this will be my pirate jacket. So I'm making parrots on the back. There's two parrots, and then there will be like a skull with roses, and there will be some more flowers yeah. down here. So there was a little mishap here. Yeah. So I'm going to put a flower there. Because you ripped because it. Because I used the scissor when I removed the canvas, and then I managed to cut the jacket. Yeah. So I bought um, black flisseline, and I'm going to. Iron it, iron it on, and then and on the inside, and then I make a flower on the outside. Yeah. So there will be flowers under the parrots. It's a cool thing. I like it. But will it you takes, ever wear it? It takes forever. Of course. Yeah. Wow, this quality is... Of course I'm going to wear it. Well, you have to. The quality of this jacket is amazing. Where did you buy it? In which country? Lilyhammer. In Lilyhammer. In Lilyhammer. No. In Oslo. 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 And they really didn't know huh, that it's a Zegna fabric. Or it's a Zegna jacket. Made in Italy. It's a good jacket. Oh, it's a great jacket. That's... No, 
the UFOs for today. No. no. Oh, I have the and my my embroidery is growing. Beautiful. But I didn't like the green I use, so I'm going to change it. Mm -hmm. And I like to work on the edges first, and then I work more in inside later because I like it when the canvas is stiff. It's yeah. easier to work with when it gets soft. I need to have that frame, which I hate to work with. Mm. So I work my way around and then I work. The taping so, idea is great though. That's really cool. To tape the canvas like that when, you, uh, when you're so, working. Then you don't have to think about loose ends kind of falling it, apart. Yeah, because it gets, it, 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 all, all, the, all the threads goes out yeah. if you don't put on anything. And I brought a friend, the friend, or some of you might know that we are have these blight friends. Yeah, and we got in Japan. I love clothes. them, and we're working on clothes. But now it's it stopped a little bit. But I can show you. I made a dress for her. The color is a little bit boring, but it's a dress with well, pearls. It's boring beads. Beads. It's a boring color. No, it's the real pearls, Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's a boring color for the dress, but the beads make it interesting, I think. Yeah. I like the design quite a lot. And I'm, 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 I'm thinking that when you knitted this, you added the beads as you were knitting, right? According no, to the I chart? Put, yeah, and then I put yeah. all the beads on the yarn, and then I start knitting, and then you place it. On place it when you need to put it in. It's like color this work. This way. But it, look at, she's so cool. This girl is a little bit gothic. She's very gothic, yeah. And, and look at this. She has a string in the back. And look at the watch carefully. So. Well, her hair's in the way. Let me, <laughs> let me help you. It's not easy. We're, we're childish. Look. Oops. Green Ooh, eyes. Green eyes. And do it again. Ooh, pink eyes. Ooh. I don't Ooh. like that color on her. She looks freaky. Blue eyes, and now she looks the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are so funny. And uh, it's it's challenging to make clothes for them because I try to make them without openings. Mm -hmm. And you can't put it over your head, of course, so you have to put everything up this way. But I managed to make a nice decote. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it works. I'm going to do this one in other colors, and maybe we do a tutorial on the Sunday. Yeah, I think we should. It is a very pretty little dress, and if you don't like Blythe, it will fit a Barbie as well, because the body, the size of the body is pretty much Actually, the same. Yeah, the same. Uh, the Barbie dolls are a little bit bigger. Well, the Barbie, the Barbie this is a dolls, Japanese Barbie. yeah, this one's flat chested and has no curves. The Barbie has a little bit more of a waist mm -hmm. and some. Uh, I think the dress will be decolletessen or whatever mm -hmm. you call the decolletage. Maybe the or, dress will be more fitted on the Barbie. Should I pull a Barbie out and show? Do we have time for that? Well. That mean that would mean you leaving me here alone <laughs> while you look for the Barbie. <laughs> yeah. do you no, know it's the... just over there. Oh really? You can do it. Okay. Then I can pull the string. <laughs> because this is so funny. Is it in here in the suitcase? In the suitcases case with all the toys. Oh yeah. Mm. She's cool. Pick anyone. Any Barbie. Well, so yeah. this is what we do all day long. So Barbie, we used to do a lot of fittings on Barbie, and then if we needed something and we liked it on <laughs> Barbie, we used to uh, we could then make it in an adult size. It's a great quick way to work to find some nice stitches or patterns or, or, or designs, and then you know you can make it into a real human. Outfit. This Barbie has an uh, arm that is curved. I'm so sorry, you said grab anyone, and that's the one I grabbed. <laughs> so, but it works. This is good uh, TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one, right? Yeah. And then I put put you had to put it on uh, from the feet and up on this one also because the head is. So see if it mm. works. This is an experiment. Is that the right word? Experiment? Experiment. 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 So I'm excited. Look at her. Yeah. Yeah, with the Blythe, you have to do that anyway, because the head's so big. The Barbie could go both ways, though. I don't know. I have 
didn't have tried. But now I tried this way, and that curved arm is not easy. She's not helping now. No. <laughs> Sorry, that's the one you told me to get any any of them. So yeah. So talk about something while I yeah. struggle. Oh, I'm just looking at you <laughs> struggling, and it's quite fun. So basically, the, the dress that we're doing uh, could very well be a, a knitted dress for a human. Um, yeah, but it works. Barbie is a little bit longer than the yeah. light doll, so... So the, it's a mini dress on Barbie. It's a Barbie, mini dress on Barbie. But it's very fashion, huh? But I was thinking like this is almost like a Chanel thing. Yeah, it's a boring color, but with the beads... You embellish it and you actually make it into something actually very very nice so you can get it on a barbie doll it could be a tunic but or, you see she's yeah it could be like a tunic or a taller. sweater dress or something and it would look really nice yeah yeah so that's enough playing for today enough playing for today <laughs> uh but yeah those are today's uh, works uh, in uh, progress ufos uh, if you have an academic degree, you might want to call them PhDs, projects half done. Uh, at least that's what somebody wrote to us, and we thought that was quite funny. Well, and something magic happened. I just pulled the dress off over her head. And, and it was easier. That was easier. Yeah. But you can't do that with the... No, not with the blight. Yeah. Okay, so it so, works yeah. on the barrel. And the uh, do you think we'll ever run out of uh, UFOs to show people? No, I don't. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we we do, yeah. and we can just go through all the stash in the in the other house, where the storage house, and I think we can find UFOs that is like thirty years old. Or something. And one day we should show the the greatest UFO of all. Oh, yeah, we, you but to show that we have we show yeah we did it on a, on a live stream. On a live stream. Oh, the Christmas. Uh, I think we uh, pulled it out. Oh yeah, the we did. You're right about that. We did. Yeah. So okay. So what's the most exciting? Last, well, the last weather time? weather wise, it's <laughs> been like a like um like a Russian roulette. Not a Russian roulette, but you could actually take bets on the weather these past days. And believe it or not, we're in the end of April, and two days ago it was snowing here, uh, but that's actually quite normal that it that you get some snowfall in April because we're high up in the mountains in Norway. Um, doesn't mean that the snow stays. Uh, it just snows and then it goes away. But it always gives you that very, that feeling of depression when it happens. Like if it snows in October it's or fine. November, it's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. You go up uh, and you go down and you light your, your fireplace and you just sit there with a the cozy you know, blanket over you and a cup of tea and a book, and it's really nice. But now, this time of the year, it should be the opposite. The snow is supposed <laughs> to be gone, and spring's supposed to be here. You know, you don't want to go out and, and see your tulips through, through the snow. But we can go, go by car, like 15 minutes, right? And then it's summer almost, Yeah, compared to where we live. And then it was supposed to be bad weather uh, for a while, no sun. But the weather forecast said bad weather for and a yesterday, week. And yesterday, suddenly the sky was blue in the evening, and the sun was out. So it was like, oh... Not bad weather after all. And today I'm looking out into the wind, you know, into the sky, and it's blue. Yeah, I think so, you know, the snow that came will be gone by tomorrow, probably or this evening, the weekend, or tomorrow or, morning. Yeah, yeah. So we're in going into spring here now. But it's not um, a problem. We have a lot of things to do indoors. Yeah, and we're used to this. I mean, once a year, <laughs> a little snowfall in April that happens, and and then it, you know, goes away uh, just as quickly as it came. Um, so yeah, other than that, 24 hours have been uh, very boring for me. Uh, I've been I've been lying down uh, on the sofa. I've been having naps. I have been uh, playing with my iPhone, um, watching YouTube videos that are completely unrelated to uh, to what we do. Um, they just pop up on my screen and I watch them. Yeah. Uh, what That's else? That's relaxing. It is. Yeah. What else have I been doing? I've been doing a little bit of cooking. Uh, and you, Arne? I've been. I finished the puzzle, which I said, and I've been cleaning in the other house, the storage house, and I'm actually looking for another puzzle mm. because I can't remember I made it. So we have to buy one. No, but there's what well, there's one in the stash that we have never made. I never made it. Which Maybe one? You did. The Cleopatra, the no, Egyptian one. No, and on, uh, one with the scene from New York. Oh, I've I've done that one. You've it's done it. It's five hundred pieces. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. 
No, it's a small a puzzle. One. I need at least thousand. Yeah, at least. I'm so good at puzzles. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because this is yeah. So that's your day, right? Yeah, and what more? I'm. I don't think I did more. I've been mm. working on my embroidery. Yeah. And crocheting. I don't do the genealogy right now because there's so many people. I got so tired of it. Mm. So I have to take a break. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't done much. No. no. I mean, it's the way it is right now. We've also, uh, yeah, I was reading my book, uh, The Other Side of the Coin by Angela Kelly. Uh, she's the queen's personal assistant and uh, designer and takes care of her wardrobe. It's interesting. And yesterday I read about... Um, you know, when she gets dressed for the parliament opening, when she has her big crown on and the and the um, cape. The cape weighs a ton, apparently. <laughs> and then, uh, and now I'm up at Christmas celebrations. And uh, I don't know if I if I would want to be in the royal family for Christmas. Uh, <laughs> you, know the, you know how many times a day they change? No. Five times a day. Oh. And in the evening, they wear long gowns and tiaras. Every day while they are celebrating Christmas. We should try one day. To wear a tiara? No, change five times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the time we've changed, uh, we've run out of clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, we can wear suits and morning clothes and hunting clothes. We don't hunt, but <laughs> we, we could pretend. Pretend. We can look for the fox. Yeah, the fox. Yeah. yeah. We, need some, uh, we need some closure here now uh, before we leave. So... Uh, We've got this um, these gates going on. We've got Porridge Gate and uh, Fox Gate. <laughs> Shall we start with Porridge Gate, Arne? What's the development in Porridge Gate? What's the conclusion? I'm not having the cold one, but I can have all the others. Yeah, that's the conclusion. We had the porridge with pears this morning, and that worked. Yeah. And I was supposed to make waffles, but then I forgot about it. Yeah. And, and I think so. I had to make because porridge. you talked about porridge last night, and then. And then we made. I was thinking porridge. And then waffles. Arne was going to do waffles for breakfast because he's, you know, I do the dough or the um, the batter, but Arne is really good at um, putting them in the machine and <laughs> closing the machine. He knows exactly how much to pour. <laughs> it's like you don't need special skills to do that. No, oh, but I mean, you've been doing waffles all your life. Yeah, I'm so good at. You're it. good at that. So I let, <laughs> whenever Arne is good at something in cooking, I let him do it because it boosts his confidence. confidence. No, it doesn't. It makes me so tired of it after a while <laughs> but, you know there's some things you do really well you do the uh, waffles very yeah. well you know what one thing that but you know does... the smoothie you get i kind of had it now with the smoothie well you had sorry it sorry to tell it. you that but <laughs> but i'm gonna make it for you so we might be moving from porridge gate which is not resolved <laughs> into smoothie gate so porridge gate ends up being a, com a compromise between arn and me no more overnight oats but all the hot porridges that I do are going to be done, you know, continued. And tomorrow we're doing barley porridge. Yeah. The barley one with the, uh, with the dates in, 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 um, in caramel with apples and cinnamon. That's going to be tomorrow. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. So, yeah, porridge gate is now resolved. <laughs> and now we go back, we go into smoothie gate. And the question in smoothie gate is, will I stop receiving <laughs> smoothies in the morning? <laughs> Well, you only go back to give. No, you tea. will. I think you will because oh. we found this frozen thing in the shop, mm. and that's more that's cleaner to work with than. Yeah, peeling a mango. Peeling a mango. That's but I easy. suppose I suppose the day uh, I'm a hundred percent recovered, Arna's going to say, "I'm out of here. No more smoothies for you," <laughs> and then that will be resolved. But um, you'll have to wait until we're back. To, and we tell you to hear the about. developments on Smoothie Gate, yeah. Porridge Gate is now resolved. And maybe yeah. we made some new, started some new, uh, new UFOs by Probably. the time we're back. Probably. And then we have Fox Gate. Uh, <laughs> what does the fox say? Uh, people have been kind enough to send us uh, links, but you know what, people, the people who have sent us links, you probably forgot that we live in the countryside, and there's a lot of foxes here, and we lived here for over 20 years, so. Over the years, we've heard foxes in, in the wild and know pretty much what they sound like. No, we don't. But we are in agree disagreement right now. Uh, I, still, I still say that what we heard was 
100% a bird. No, I think it's a fox. It's a bird. I have to listen to the things, the links, those look at the links that people send us because... Well, I did it too, but every sound there I recognize because we've heard them here. And it's not the one that I... Heard. I even remember one thing, distinctively. I remember a summer night uh, 15 years ago. I don't know if you remember this, but a summer night 15 years ago, um, I was going to close the curtains. And because it was a summer night, it means the sun doesn't set. Well, technically, where we live, it does. It sets at around 11.30, and then it rises again around 2. We don't have the midnight sun here. But we have a full night without darkness. And I remember I was going to close the drapes. And we at that time, we were building the rock garden. Mm -hmm. Do you remember this? Mm, yeah, the small and, one. And we, have, okay. and we had a compost. Yeah. And what There's happened? a small, small fox in the yeah. garden, like a... A baby. And suddenly we were, I called Arne and we were watching this little fox in our garden. Uh, they're cute. They're super cute. And now I've seen the tracks. So he's been on the ice and he's been around in the garden. Hmm. But I haven't seen him. But what we heard that night times. was definitely a I'm going to tape it and we can put it out on Instagram. And we can see what yeah, is but, this. But I haven't heard, I I haven't heard that bird again since... <laughs> I heard of the fox last night when I was out with Freya. Okay, we'll see if there's any resolution for Foxgate. Uh, at the moment, I'm still insisting it was a bird. Maybe not it's a, fox. a moose or Maybe. an eagle. Maybe it's a moose or an eagle. I think it's a fox. I think it's a bird. Okay. Like a pigeon, like a forest pigeon of some <laughs> sort. I'm going to tape it with my phone and put it on Instagram. Anyway, there's no resolution for Foxgate no. uh, for the moment. We'll see what happens when we get back. What, what, what is also um, going to continue when we come back eventually is we're going to continue releasing the patches. Uh, and today we've got a great patch for you uh, that we're going to show you now uh, so that you can continue doing your, uh, your patches. Today's patch is a strawberry. Because they talked about strawberries on the radio. Yay! I don't know why, but strawberry was not. Well, strawberry season is coming up. Yeah. And we love our strawberries. This, the Norwegian ones are really good. Unfortunately, I have this allergy to pollen, not to strawberries. You may have seen me sneeze in a video recently. <laughs> and I have, a, I have an allergy uh, towards pollen. And the pollen actually get, gets into the strawberries here in Norway. And if I eat them, I get a rash on my tongue. I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing. I'm not going to, you know, swell and die from it. But the rash is a little uncomfortable, so I tend to avoid Norwegian strawberries. But the Norwegian strawberries taste really good. They're they the best. They taste strawberries. Yes. Not like the one you buy in the shops. They taste water. Yeah. However, if we're in <laughs> France, and I have a strawberry in France, there's no problem. Because obviously there's different pollens on, on them. Or uh, less pollen. And then, of course, we have the tiniest little wild strawberries. Those, are, those grow in the wild here. And we also have them in pots. And they're tiny, but the flavor is like, pow, very strong, right? <laughs> Packs a big punch. And those I can eat for some reason. I don't get the rash. No. But anyway, it's strawberries because they are delicious, because they are coming into sweet uh, season. And then we have one more. So now you should have enough for yeah. so anyway, three pillows. This is, this, is, uh, this is block number 26. And if we do 26 blocks, you don't have enough. But we decided to uh, do a final block because then you can do a third cushion. If you knit all our blocks and you don't want to make a blanket, now you can make three cushions. And are we going to reveal the yes, final the final, the block, final block for now? Uh, in the Quarantine Knitting Podcast, we will be back with uh, the podcast in another form. But here's the final one, and I'm going to let Arne talk about this one. And that's the rainbow. And I just had to pick the colors I found in the stash. Mm -hmm. So maybe the dark, this dark one, this one is a little bit too dark. I found this very nice. Yes. Okay, but because... There was a lot of kids painting rainbows, yeah. and then we heard rain. The rainbow was like a symbol. Was it of hope or something? Yeah, and, and I saw. I saw when we were when we were in the car the other day. I saw a rainbow in a window, and underneath there, the rainbow, there was a text. It was in Norwegian. Mm -hmm. um, 
and it said in Norwegian, allt kommer att gå bra till slut. Oh, everything will be good in the end. Yes, so that's what we're going to call the final patch. So, <laughs> patch number 26, the strawberry, and patch number 27 is called, it's all going to be all right. In the end. In the end. So if it's not all right, it's not the end. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I think you got that from a film. I think Shakespeare I did. in Love. Was that the one? Yeah. I heard that phrase somewhere. Yeah. But we're going to say everything is, it, it's called everything is going to be all right in the end. Yeah. So. But I think we're going to take take away in the end because it's going to be too long. Everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all and right. a strawberry. So those That's are. the patches for the day. Those are the 27 patches. Now I uh, have had somebody, because I'm not really working, uh, but somebody has made a PDF and put all the patches together. So next time you log on to our blog at arnencarlos.com, there will be one post, and it's going to be called the Arne and Carlos Quarantine Knitting Knit Along, all patches 1 through 27. And when you click on that link, you'll be able to download a printable file with all 27 patches. And you'll also see the, all the 27 patches, the photographs of them. And you get the written pattern, which means all the other blog posts that we have posted in the weeks are now going to be, uh, they're not going to be deleted, but we're going to kind of focus on that one uh, post, which we're going to pin to the top. Oh, and it will make it easier for everybody to find everything they need in one place. So you ha don't have to look for it. So you don't have to look there for it anymore. There was one who couldn't find them. Yeah, lots of people it. struggle finding them. I mean, it's it's kind of, you know, you develop a system which is logic for us, right? But then again, we know the system and we know how to find it, find them. Therefore, it's logic for us. But a lot of people, they don't know how to find it because they didn't make the system and they have no idea. And it's understandable. So we're trying to make your life a little bit easier. You're so hope. kind. I try my best to be kind <laughs> yeah. to everybody. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so not? should we stop it now? And yeah, just we'll be back in just a final, a couple a few of weeks. Final things. Yeah. Um, right now, people are craving a connection, and uh, since we're going to be uh, leaving now for a while, uh, we can highly recommend Knit Stars. Knit Stars is doing their uh, pre-sales of season five, uh, early bird. And they're also doing uh, sales of seasons one to four, which, you know, out of those, season three is the best. Uh, not only, because, not only because we were in it, but also because of the great designers there. Um, lots of fabulous people. The Mason Dixon girls are there. Um, Crystal Seifert. Chris, Crystal Seifert. I think we said this. And Bud is there. Andrea Rangel is I there. I think we said this every time. Yeah. But anyway, right now, right now, and until Mar May 3rd, so until May 3rd, uh, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, you can get uh, any of the Knit Stars for the cheapest price they have ever been. It's all taken consider consideration to the, uh, to the situation in the world. So uh, go to Knit Stars, to the Knit Star page, and grab yourself a uh, pre-order season five if you want to have that or get one of the other seasons or all of them and then you can just sit and binge watch <laughs> um, and there's a facebook group that you'll then be able to join like a private facebook group for them and it's it's really great so we highly recommend it if you click on our link uh, it gives us a little commission and times are hard we have to admit that so it means you give us a little bit of support which we then thank you so much for so <laughs> just go to the click the link that you find here the the first comment is the link to knit stars it's our link which gives us a little commission so if you want to click on that to support us we're very grateful uh, if you can't find that link go to our blog go to our website uh, go to uh, our Instagram go to our Facebook and you'll find the links there as well and we thank you so much for the support. Thank you. We would also like to thank everybody for supporting us uh, throughout uh, the month by purchasing patterns. Uh, it also helps us a great deal to survive financially throughout this crisis. So thank you so much. We want to thank everybody. <laughs> it's not like we're in a crisis. No, we're not. No, but it, I, I mean, it, times are times are hard, aren't they? Yeah. So we want to thank everybody for their for their support in purchasing patterns, and we want to uh, thank everybody who has not purchased patterns but has been cheering us on in the comments field and supporting us by watching all our podcasts 
and uh, wishing us well throughout a very difficult time uh, during my health mm. uh, problems with Corona, which I caught on March 25th. So thank you so much for all of that. And now that I've thanked anybody, everybody, do you want to thank people too? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yes. <laughs> we will be back with uh, the Arne and Carlos uh, Knitting Quarantine Quarantine Knitting Podcast in a new shape soon. Uh, we will be very excited to reveal the name. Mm-hmm. We don't know the name yet. With more patches. And so also please comment uh, if you want to suggest the name. Um, and now uh, that we've thanked everybody and that we've said that we will be back, I also want to stress that the Sunday episodes, they, oh, will, keep, always there. they will keep going as always. And uh, the one, uh, <laughs> the one coming now is going to be controversial, I'm sure. Oh, is it now? Yeah, we'll see. We will have a lot of hate mail. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. No, anyway, we're just telling the truth. Do you want to f- uh, do the formalities now? Yeah, if you like our videos, put your thumbs up. If not, down. And remember to put on your notifications because then you will have a message message every time there's a new video out. And please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. See and you soon. shall we hold up the patches yep. for the last time? Ta-da. Oops. Strawberry and it will all be all right. <laughs> yeah. okay. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for announcements on our Facebook group, on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page, on our blog, and uh, here on YouTube uh, for when we come back. And uh, I just want to mention that... Uh, Uh, We will not be updating uh, on my health anymore because I am pretty much in okay health. I just need to recover from this post-vial syndrome. So we won't be updating you uh, now. And just keep in mind that no good, oh sorry, no news is usually good news. So as long as you don't hear from us, we're going to be okay. Thank you so much for watching and see you whenever it will be. Well, actually see you on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Bye.